Hello, Greenfield Union School District. My name is Marianne Bland, and I'm a senior educational consultant with Paxton Patterson. Today, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on what our plans are to implement a college and career ready lab at Greenfield Community. So let me share my screen. All right. So uh, the goals of this course are to improve student engagement, help students make better choices when they leave high school, and increase their exposure to great jobs in your own region. The student engagement part is really, really critical when we look at application of uh, CSI funds, because what we're trying to do are use research-based methods for effectively learning reform. And there's a a lot of great data. This is just one example here. Um, student engagement is directly linked to students' perception of relevancy, and that really ties into the ways that they're going to make a living someday, right? So 81% of students who drop out say that relevant real-world learning opportunities would have kept them in school. That's from a report done for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And the National Dropout Prevention Center has similar uh, things to say about how we teach and, and the way we approach. So one, we should have more career related curriculum opportunities for students. And two, we need to make sure we're teaching it in a way that they're going to connect with. So this particular report um, or collection of data finds that at Promise students typically struggle to learn in a traditional classroom, which is no surprise to any of you who work with Alted. Um, but they found that when you give them the opportunity to learn in a different way, so project-based learning, hands-on, you see tremendous value and improvement, which is our goal with this initiative, particularly in the achievement level of the lowest performing students. The additional goal of helping students make those better post-secondary choices is done in this kind of continuum. We wanna connect the dots. So we want to give them early exposure in the middle school grades, which is great timing um, from a social emotional learning context because they're starting to think about how much money it costs to live life and asking why they're being asked to learn these academic core subjects, kind of challenging that. So it's the appropriate time. And then the other part is that once they do have exposure to these things at that time in their life, they can make better decisions later about college or apprenticeships or enlisting in the military. So for example, if we give a student a chance to learn about being an electrician in seventh or eighth grade, then as they move on through high school and they have that career goal in mind, they may connect with CTE pathway opportunities at the high school level or seek out apprenticeships or be able to articulate that to career counselors who can help them get into those opportunities. In terms of the way this particular course from Paxton Patterson is structured, it's career exploration. So some of the units that I'll run through here for you are scaffolded and short term, only about 10 hours each, making that course really accessible to students who may be coming and going at unpredictable times in between marking periods. You can use specific CalPADS code that does not require a CTE credentialed instructor, which is usually tricky to find in the middle grades in general, and even more so at Alted. With 13 units, you'll have a max class size of 26. So if you really trend upward at any particular time and have a bunch of kids in there, great. If not, there's still a lot of opportunity for them to take those different units. And of course, this is really kind of an integrated and a meaningful intervention that kind of tricks them into doing some math and science. There's narrative and argumentative writing. And of course, we're approaching all of this from a standards-based perspective. These are comprehensive courses that include curriculum, assessments, that's all delivered through a learning management system, all the tools and materials that are needed are in there. It's standards aligned. The activities and supplies are all part of it. It's we will set it up and we will support it as well as train the teacher. This is the drawing of what this is going to look like in the classroom that's been identified at Greenfield Community. And so you can see some of these tables are the heavier duty ones with the maple tops. There's storage and uh, additional tables that are industry specific in that they have wide, broad surface areas. It's a very interactive room where there's space to do the different activities that are built into it. And technically, in terms of needs, there's just a couple of computers and iPads that would be required in addition to the class set of Chromebooks. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick run through of the different units because they're super exciting and tons of fun. Energy and power is small engines. Alternative energy is really more about different fuel sources. Video production, of course, every kid thinks they're gonna be a YouTuber or social media influencer. So this gives them the tools to do that. Intro to culinary arts is very 
life skill oriented, but also lets them know about jobs in these fields. Computer graphics and animation is really hands-on, lots of fun. Forensic science is also a top 10 selection, it's kind of at the CSI angle. Flight and drone technology is very engaging and has a bunch of math hidden in there. Drones are new this year, which is really exciting for lots of students. Electrical skills, fantastic jobs in this. I mentioned it earlier. We are such a fan of the trades and it's always a great option for students to know that they can make a lot of money and have great benefits and support of a union. Intro to health science careers gives them kind of an introduction to all the broad variety of health programs that we know there's a lot of opportunity for students to pursue at both the BCC um, district and also at the surrounding high schools. Digital audio production for your little musicians. Personal finance, fantastic life skills. You know, what are taxes? How, why does insurance matter? How do I keep track of this stuff? It's really great for a, a hard look at budget. Hospitality and tourism, it's really fun. Students get to learn about how all of these things will resurge once COVID is done. Sports medicine is probably one of our most hands-on and well-loved units that has everything from taping injured ankles and knees through to um, checking for different brain injuries with uh, testing for nerve damages. And all in, this will cost Greenfield about $73,000, which includes everything we've discussed. Um, the ongoing costs are about 1000 a year in consumables, but with small classes, those will probably last longer than that. And then every five years, you renew access to the learning management system for the site at $2,800. So the next steps at this point are for hopefully all of you to be on board and be excited uh, for them to approve this purchase and submit the PO. We'll then verify shipping information, furniture colors, make sure this is in your master schedule, of course, from the school site side, and then get the teacher all trained up and the kids in there working. If you need more information about how this is delivered in the rotational model, which is really more designed to mimic a job site, you can check out the video linked here. And this timeline just kind of reminds everybody of, of the steps that are needed to get this up and running. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. If anybody has any questions, you're more than welcome to contact me directly. My cell is 408-710-4184. And my email is Marianne, M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E -N -N -E, at paxpat.com. I'm so excited to be partnering with you and your district to bring these exciting opportunities to your kiddos. And I hope that you are as thrilled as we all are to make that happen. Thanks so much for your time today. Take care.